Okay, so we are at WrestleMania, and the show is right about to start. We got a pretty good view of everything, as you can see, all the way around, all the way around. We really want to thank SeatGeek.com for hooking us up with the seats. Thank you. We got good seats. We got good seats from SeatGeek. Check out at the end of the video on how you can order from SeatGeek. Discount code GRIM will get you $20 back on your order. And we are ready for WrestleMania. Let's do this. And that's it. Neville retains. Neville retains. I thought that Austin Aries had it there, but Neville retains the title. The title. I picked it. I'm one. You got nothing. You're going to Skin Tag City. <laughs> yes. Look at the sign. Uh, the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal is about to start. Here comes Hawkins wearing a cringy white outfit, holding up his cane in the air. Doesn't he look like a dork? Yeah. Big shoulder tackle. kind of salty about it. I mean, it's cool they're pushing a new guy, but he had a friggin' football player from the Patriots help him out. People are pissed. That was kind of dumb. Hey, Jim. Hey. Hey. What do you think? Mojo Raleigh wins the Battle Royal? I thought it was Braun. What the hell? I thought Hawkins, Sami Zayn, Braun Strowman would have won. I don't know. I guess they Whatever. want hype. They want hype. They want hype. We, we hype. We hype. We don't get fat. We stay fat. Ah. He's like, I'm not fat. Well, I try, I can. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Now, Baron Foreskin went for the end of days. He went for the end of days. And Dean Ambrose flipped out of it, reversed it, right into a solid steel, dirty deeds. I can't say what I really want to say, because uh, little here's, but Dean Ambrose retains the Intercontinental title. I really thought that Baron Foreskin was going to take the title here tonight. That was too stupid. You picked Dean Ambrose, right? Failed it times two. People are pissed. I'm triggered. And why the hell did they put this match on the pre-show? Intercontinental title match on a pre-show, really? Decent match nonetheless, except for that botch by Dean Ambrose when he screwed up Baron Foreskin's uh, deep six. And then... Barrett kicked him right in the mouth for it. You deserved it, Dean. And now it's starting to rain. It's drizzling a little bit. Yeah. It's WrestleMania! Welcome, everyone, to WrestleMania! Blow up the stage! Here's the kick! I love the kick! The best part! Now blow up that stage! Let's go! Where's the fireworks? Hey, here comes AJ Styles to take on Shane McMahon in the opening match of WrestleMania. Now, Grim, why don't you show the matches? You watch the matches on WWE Network. You watch my channel to see my face. AJ Styles just won the match. Shane did not jump. I wanted Shane to jump off the roller coaster, but he did not. He still won the match. Did you see when Shane McMahon laid AJ Styles on the commentator table? It was like he was laying him like a baby to change his diaper, all gentle and stuff. Shane McMahon's the flying diaper. <laughs> then he did the flying diaper elbow drop. Yeah. And AJ moved. Shane went through the table, but Shane wasn't done. He still pulled off the yeah. coast to coast of the garbage can. He still pulled off a shooting star press. He missed. And then AJ, pow, with a phenomenal forearm. We don't want none! We don't want none! AJ Styles wins the match! That was a pretty good match! Yeah. With an uneventful finish! Kevin Owens has just defeated Chris Jericho! For the United States Championship! They got their knees up for every move! Chris Jericho reverses a Pop-Tart powerbomb into the Joe Breaker! But Kevin Owens gets one finger on the ropes! Kevin Owens then takes Jericho to the outside and gives him a power bomb onto the ring apron. Breaks his back. His back is broke. Yeah. Don't step on a cracker, you break Jericho's back. <laughs> Chris Jericho has a brand new intro, counting down the numbers of the list. That was epic. He's got a glowing scarf. 
He has a list up on the stage, and he still loses the U.S. title to Kevin Blowitz. People pop for it, though. Sasha Banks just came out in a car. Bailey had those wacky waiver things. Battle Cow came fat out. We got fireworks. Fireworks for Sasha Banks. What's Charlotte gonna do? Fall off her chair. <laughs> What did she do? Yeah? Here she comes, Charlotte. No chair. No chair. Marlon. Stupid. Too 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 stupid. Stupid. Bailey has just retained the women's title. Battle Cal Nyman Jax was out of the match first with a triple power bomb. Yeah. We could barely see the match because this blinding blue light in our face sucks so bad. Blue light sucks was the chant we had going on. I don't know. I felt maybe I was just distracted by this horrible blue light shining in my face the entire time. But that match fell flat for me. Cool to see Bailey retain at WrestleMania because, you know, everybody loves the hooker section, but the blue light sucks. That was not a blue light special, and people are pissed about the blue light. Is the new day going to be in it, or is it the Hardy Boys? Is it going to be the new day? Triple H just came out on a motorcycle with a full police escort. 
Stephanie McMahon's dressed up like a biker slut. And now it's time for the architect, Seth Rollins, to come into the ring. Are you ready for Rollins? I had to put the camera on, even though we're in the middle of this match with Rollins versus Triple H. It's a little slow, it's a little boring. For anything goes, there should be tables, ladders, and chairs. The whole time she's just roasted him. Oh, my knee, it hurts. Wow, well, I'm a baby. I know. She's just like, hi, oh, my knee. That's what he does. I taught her too good. Stephanie just went to a table. Stephanie went to a table. Triple H turns around. Rollins has a pedigree. Psychology, which means boring, but it was good ring psychology. They built a really solid match. Couple good sequences. Rollins drilled a Phoenix Splash. That was a really good match. I can't say it was a bad match. A little slow, a little boring in the middle, but ring psychology, which makes it a good match. The Fireflies are out as Grim Wyatt joins Brother Bray in celebration of defending the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Turn your flashlight on. Against Randy Orton. Randy, we will end you. Randy Orton just became the new WWE Champion after beating Bray Wyatt. Why the fuck did he get the belt to Bray Wyatt for only a month and a half? Bray Wyatt was doing all this cool crap in the ring, having maggots and cockroaches and lizards and worms crawling around the ring to play mind games with Randy. The worms and maggots and cockroaches and beasts, they do nothing. Randy Orton still won with an RKO out of nowhere. And I'm triggered, for fuck's sake. I was just telling my daughter, Randy Orton has been around wrestling since before she was born, she's 11. Could we at least had Bray Wyatt get a push and retain the title? Damn it! At least the match was cool. Kind of. Yeah, it was cool. I guess. I don't know, I'm just mad Randy Orton won the belt back for no reason. Yeah! Boy, 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 boy. Here comes your boy, Borg Laser and whatnot. Brock Lesnar's coming out to destroy Goldberg. Boy. Boy, 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 boy. Fire! Not too many Goldberg chants. Fireworks. Not too many Goldberg chants. Fire! Nobody's chanting Goldberg. People are booing Goldberg out of the building like he's Roman Reigns right now. Upward! is already a thousand times better than I thought it would be. Suplex, 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 spear, spear, spear through the barricade. Now they're both laying down on the outside. Now they're all chanting Goldberg. Make up your minds. He's going for a jackhammer. Nope, F5. Brock's got him for an F5. Nope, he slips out of Holy shit. Spear again. Wait a minute, Goldberg. Two. Brock Lesnar kicks out of the air. Brock Lesnar kicks out of the uh, fucking jackhammer, whatever it's called. I thought it was going to be over. People are popping. This match has been fantastic. Goldberg sent up for another spear. Brock sort of botched the leapfrog of the spear. And that was going to take Goldberg to Suplex City with another German. I thought this would be two Germans, but what's he going for, five here? Super oh! Another one! I'm so happy! I'm so happy! This is so good! This is 
what I like. <laughs> He's suplexing the piss out of Goldberg. Boy, I reckon I'm gonna wreck that boy. Why not? Hey, eight German suplexes to Goldberg. That was eight. Look at your mother. No fucks given. Are you not watching the greatest match in the history of our sport? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. He had nine. We want 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Here he goes. Troll Goldberg around for the F5. Will this be it? Boom! Drills it! Cover! One, two, three! And your boy, boy, Glazer! Boy, 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 boy. Brock Lesnar is the new Universal Champion. That match lit as fuck. I really thought they were going to cut this women's match for time. But here comes Becky Lunch! Oh! Alexa Bliss is going to defend the women's SmackDown Women's Championship against the entire women's roster of SmackDown. And there comes Becky Lunch. She's so happy. She's so happy. Yay! Naomi got her belt back. Naomi got her belt back. That match was exciting. We had women flipping all over the place. Naomi nailed Alexa with an ass to the face. That style of steel butt cheeks. That ass face offense always wins. Naomi takes the title back. James Ellsworth even got his ass in there and took a suplex from Becky Lunch. Bring on the main event. Let's do this. Good God Almighty, JR is back. Jim Ross is here to call a match. He's the guy that says, Good God Almighty, he's got to be dead. That's, that's why daddy talks like that. It's Jim Ross. She's too young to know. God bless her. All right, are you ready to hear 70,000, 75,000 new record boo Roman Reigns out of the building? Yeah. Here we go. God, this show is abysmally long. It is now 10 minutes till midnight, and friggin' Roman Reigns just kicked out of a tombstone on a chair. Pencil Arms is asleep. Heel wife is salty as a pretzel. Oh, she's smiling. She's trying to be like, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Look at her. She's salty as a pretzel. She just doesn't want to show it on camera. She's sick of everybody hating on her. But. My God, just let it be over. Stop the damn match. <laughs> Roman Bunch trying to pick up the Undertaker twice. <laughs> this is the worst match in the history of our sport. <laughs> That's it, another one, two. Undertaker kicked out after two spears. This match won't end, damn it. I can just hear JR now. Undertaker looking around like he don't know what to do. This crowd is lighting up. That's it. It's got to be it. One, two, three. Roman Reigns has just defeated the Undertaker in the middle of the ring. And as predicted, people are pissed. People are pissed. What are they more mad about? Roman Reigns winning or the fact that it's fucking midnight? Why was this show so abysmally long? Thank you guys for watching my WrestleMania reactions. It's been one hell of a show. Please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more, and check out how you can get tickets at SeatGeek.com for any event you want to go to. Come on, it's not even over. You don't got to run out of here this fast. It's not even over, come on. Heel it's over? Heel running me out of here. It's not even over, man. <laughs> It's over! It's not over! Okay, so this is what you do if you want to get tickets on SeatGeek. You open up the SeatGeek app. Here we go. SeatGeek app. Boom. 
WWE WrestleMania, WWE WrestleMania Tour. And then you find the event you want to go to. There it is, WrestleMania, March 12th. Maybe we want to go to March 12th, Madison Square Garden tomorrow. And then this gives you all the tickets that are available from all the different websites that sell tickets. And see, green is a good deal, red is a bad deal. There you go. You pick $57 tickets. You go right to your payment method here. You enter promo code GRIM GRIM and paja ka ching. You got your tickets. And that way you know you're getting the best deal from SeatGeek because it shows StubHub and FX tickets and all the websites that sell tickets. Anywhere people can sell tickets, all that information is corroborated right onto SeatGeek.com. And then you know you're getting the best deal. You don't have to search 19 different websites. You know you're getting the best deal from SeatGeek. And then you save 20% discount code GRIM. And if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.